doesn't stop. He keeps on hurting me all over and over. I keep on telling him to stop, but he doesn't want to. What now? Who is upsetting you so much? It's that boy in my class. He can't leave Kaki so alone. I know but... what to call such a boy. I know. What, what? <laughs> it's a, a, a bully. Anyway, he's constantly tripping Kahisu. He's always pulling my hair and kicking my chair. And if you don't respond the way he wants, he gets more violent. What a horrible person. Sometimes he kicks my bags and sometimes he threatens me all the time. Hmm, that boy is definitely a bully. A bully is someone who deliberately scares you or makes you feel bad. It's like that girl who thinks it's cheesiness. Every time she comes, you feel like jumping into the nearest dustbin and sitting there straight terrified until she's gone. Do you know that feeling? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we talked about your personal bubble and respect? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Ah. What's the definition of respect then, small depends? I know what respect is. What? What, what is the definition? It's the meaning of something. The definition or meaning of respect is to value someone or something. You mean you didn't plan it or mean to do it? Excellent! An excellent, yes. A bully has no respect for you. They will not stop. You must make a laugh. Okay, okay, okay. Now tell me, do you know the difference between doing something on purpose and an accident? I think doing something on purpose is to do something knowing that that person is still going to get hurt, but you still decide to still do it. Watch out. Mm -hmm. That is what this boy did. He knew you would get hurt, but he decided to trip you anyway. Sis, that is me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Completely. The definition of an accident is an unlucky event that happens completely without warning and typically results in injury and damage. Uh, you mean you did not plan it or mean for it to happen? Yes, yes, exactly. An accident. Mm -hmm. Happens accidentally. <laughs> a bully also doesn't stop. Today, tomorrow, and the day after that, and they just don't stop! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is she a guy? Oh, you see, bullies can upset you in so many ways. They can make you scared, embarrassed, uh, they can make you sick. And you know, there are so many ways that they can hurt you. They kick you, they push you, and they can hurt you with words. They, they, they tease you! Mm. Yes, to grab a child's things, make a child feel that there isn't part of a group, or even threaten them for money. That is stealing. Wow, bullies can do many things. I wonder what else can they do? They also like to gossip so that you have a bad name, or tell stories to get you into trouble, and nasty comments to someone with an illness or disability. That's horrible. Uh, and to exclude somebody is also not nice. Say, for instance, when you're picking a team, when you're playing soccer at school, and you're excluding somebody, it is not nice. Or you're busy with a project at school. Uh, uh, don't exclude anybody. Indeed, sorry. To exclude a child, to expect money from them, even to damage and break their property, that is to bully. Mm. Unacceptable behavior. Wow, kiddo. There are many ways to bully, like making funny jokes about someone when you know it's going to hurt them. Oh, you can do it by writing uh, nasty messages that threatens and insults their safety. Bullies are mean mm. and rude. Mm. They need to be stopped. But why do people bully them? Well, Tato, there are many reasons for that. The main one being that many children do not want to appreciate the fact that we are unique and different in terms of how we look. For example, some people are born with physical disability. Some children have freckles, some have pointy nose, some have big ears. I mean, we're just different. 
Some children have more money than others, and then they become jealous. Mm -hmm. Even our voices are different, our tones in our voices. You get high voices, <laughs> and you get very low voices, like very white. And there's, there's a difference between our skin colors as well. Look, I'm sort of rooibos tea, and Oodles, she's sort of a rooibos tea with milk. And then, then the twins, the twins, they look like caramel cake, right? Right, so there is no need to bully somebody just because they are different. <laughs> right, so what do we have to do? We have to watch out, watch out, out. say no, say no, no. make a law, make a law. Wait, 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 sorry. Remember when I told you that everyone is special, but some people don't feel that way and they resort to bullying because they get attention at school from their peers and in class. And in that way, it makes them feel special. Bullies, they enjoy to see their victims suffer and that makes them feel strong and tough. Mama Ji, Mama Ji. Yeah, I'm listening. Mama Ji. Mm. It is unfair, whatever the reason, they shouldn't be bullying. It's against the law of justice. Mm. Mm. Yes, I agree. Yes. Mm. But sometimes they just do things because they feel bad about themselves. It doesn't give them the right to bully. Yeah. Well, I'll sort them out. Mm. But, yes, but, yes. But think about it this way. Maybe, maybe they feel angry or perhaps feel they don't fit in. Or it could just be that they just don't like themselves and feel the need to make other people around them also feel unpleasant, angry and hurt. Perhaps they have problems at home. Or maybe they were bullied themselves. Now they do it to others before it happens to them again. Oh, I see. Many bullies say they did nothing wrong. Oh, they were just joking. But the truth is they really, really meant to hurt you. Yeah, mm, yeah. Yes. And you see, the other thing is, uh, some of these kids, or uh, your friends, they get bullied, ne? and they get very sick. Yeah, I heard some kids complaining about stomach aches and headaches, and all of that. Horrible thing. Stress. Or, and sometimes things can happen like, like they can even hurt themselves or slip away from school. Yeah, but you see, to these bullies, it's just a whole lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and they lie, they lie. They say, these kids deserved it. No, it was Kahiso's fault. He deserved it. But it's a lie. And he goes to the teacher and he tells the teacher, no, Kahiso started with him first. All big lies. It is unfair. These kids should be brought to justice. Yes. Yeah, must be brought to justice. Taken to so court. what should we do with my bully? He said we have no evidence. That's not true. You can ask your teacher about the school rules and how they plan to deal with bullies. Mm. Every school must have a plan to keep this bully monster accountable. Yeah. Yes, we saw what happened and we must make alarm by telling the teachers. Shame. I feel pity for the bullies. They must be taught how to manage and direct their sadness and angry feelings. I think every child can direct his or her feelings and emotions and they must also respect everybody around them. I can just imagine how somebody would feel if they were being bullied by someone. It must feel awful, sad and depressing. Uh, it is very important that watch our members and their friends to think about and understand the, the people around them's feelings. Can you give me like a couple of emotions that people feel? Angry. Yeah. Trust. Yes. Fear. Yep. Happy. Yay. Sadness. You must be able to see if someone around you are having emotions and help them to understand which one of the emotions they have and why. And if you can help them make alarm. Do you know the definition of dependable? Is it when I take your pen? Your friend... It's to know for a fact that you can depend on a friend when you really need them. Your friends are known to be reliable because you can trust that they deeply care for your well-being. So, 
Someone dependable is someone who helped and protected you in the past. Mm -hmm. They will help and protect you today. Mm -hmm. And you know they will also do it in the future. Dependable. As you said it, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Now you see, it's the readiness to be trusted. You mustn't lie. You must always tell the truth. Then people know they can depend on you. Tell the truth and you can be trusted. Mm. Yes. yes. Watch out members must be able to say, I am dependable. You can count on me. Mm. Anytime, any place. We are reliable and accountable. Mm. Mm. And we must protect each other. Yes, we must protect each other and we must look after each other. Yes. If I know there is a bomb in the room, I will protect everyone by letting you know there's danger and help to get everyone out safe. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yes, sorry, you are right. We must always look out and protect each other. Have you seen somebody has been involved in a very bad accident? They are full of blood, scratches, bruises, and broken bones, you know? If it was possible to prevent those things from happening, then we would. Your body is very valuable. Imagine if you lose an arm and then you cannot play ball. You cannot even wash the other hand. And you can't play video games. You will also struggle to do your job one day. You will take longer to type a letter on a keyboard because you only have one hand. Your body is very valuable and you must protect it. Oh, that also goes for the information in your brain, your arms and your limbs and your private parts. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. should protect it. Yep. Let me tell you how to protect yourself. Number one. Huh? You make sure that you have good and healthy habits, right? Yes. And make sure you surround yourself with friends who also practice these good and healthy habits. Friends you can trust Fiesta. And now, secondly, kiddo, you should have boundaries just to protect yourself, you know, protect yourself. Say to yourself, I will not go into that building. There might be a bomb in that building. That is how I am going to protect myself and keep myself safe. Yes, right. Yes, yes, right. yes right. Safety first. That's a brilliant motto. Thank you. Good. Some things we like in life can be dangerous if you don't have boundaries or protection. Mm, like when you are involved in mm -hmm. motorsport, you need to have protective clothing, like helmet. And if you're going to do something, you know, you have to ask yourself, is this going to be dangerous or am I going to be safe in this environment? Like sweets. I love sweets, yeah. chip, chocolates. But I know if I eat too much of it, I'll gain a lot of weight or even get very sick. Mm -hmm. That's right. You must have boundaries. Mm -hmm. Boundaries are the rules you make yourself to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. And then, number three, number three, ladies and gents, it is called pre-decision. You decide for yourself what you're going to do before you get there. That stops three. What are you going to do? Are you just going to walk across or are you going to stop first? What are you going to do? Stop. 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 There we go. Mm. That's number three. Pre-decision. Solly, yeah. you have to know what you're going to do before you get to a stop sign. Yes. Oh, guys, guys, I have brilliant news. Wow, in my great endeavors, I have built a contraption that can make 300,000 million Trillion of my security guard watch out watches. Now, everybody can have them. What marvelous. Bullies also? No, no, no. Uh -uh. Bullies and people who do not practice good habits cannot have them. Wow, this is good news. I'm, now I'm so excited. I know there are many children who would watch out. Then you can stand together against all bad things and bad people. Attention! It's like an army of good kids fighting against this, this army of toxic poison. Right? Yes. 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 Right, right. Together, we can do this. Yes. 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 Together. It's like a body system. 
We have a circle of dependable friends who protect and care for each other. Watch out! Watch, Watch out. out! And if something happens, we all say no and make an arm by telling the adults. <laughs> that these three, they've got many friends who would love to become Watch Out members. Brilliant, sorry. Ah, I see. So you guys, this is what I want you to do. Just go to your school and sort out this bully. But not just that one bully, all of them. Take them to your teachers so they can help them sort out their feelings and emotions. And then, just come back and tell us we're going to miss you guys. Come visit us soon. Yes, please. We will miss you too, but we must go and sort out this bully. Yes. yes. We that. must talk to our teachers and some parents to help us. You do that. Together, yeah. we will help many children who need us. Great. 